All right, what's going on, guys? This morning, I'm actually cleaning my paint gun. This is my DeVilvis starting line, HVLP. It has a 1.3 tip on it. I've used this gun now for probably, I don't know, five, six, seven, seven years, like what, 2014? About seven years. Obviously, I mean, I, have, I wasn't painting full time, uh, but I did use it quite a bit. This, this has been a, a good workhorse for me. I've used it, and I've had a lot of good experiences with it. Spraying anything from sealer all the way to pearls, tri coats, and clear uh, clear coats. Obviously, this thing is still going. So I actually ordered the PPS adapter for it, and I'm going to uh, keep it in my lineup uh, as as a basically a sealer gun. And uh, I actually have the Iwata LPH 400 that's on the way as well. And that one, I'm going to use that one as my main base coat and clear coat gun. Uh, now this one right here. This was part of the Devilva starting line kit when I got it. I got the, I got the base coat and uh, primer gun. Kit. As you can see, it is filthy. I'm gonna soak it. I'm gonna try to get most of this off, but I did go ahead and order a uh, uh, a two gun kit from Harbor Freight that's gonna replace my primer gun. I'm, I'm still gonna use this, but I'm, I'm gonna use it sparingly just because this one has been through through some wear and tear. Uh, I also ordered a few other things for the shop, like a polishing kit, PPS system, liners and stuff like that. I'm gonna try out, but. Uh, I'm excited for my, that Iwata gun. That's going to be really cool. I also just finished putting up uh, GoPro mounts around the shop. That's going to help me film. You know, I got one right here above my mixing area. I put four in the booth, one in the front, one in the back, and one on each side up high so I can get like a super view look. I have one mounted by my airbrush station, and then I have one that it's kind of a, it's on one of those uh, suction cup mounts. I want to use that one like when I have vehicles that I'm working on, like a door or something, I can mount it up on the window and kind of have like a top-down view. It's pretty cool because I've had those mounts for a couple years now and I wasn't doing anything with them. So it was pretty cool that I was able to find actually good use for them. So I'm excited to do that because it's going to help, you know, make some more content and stuff for, for the channel that hopefully you guys like. All right. So what we got here? Package came in. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited for this, guys. This is actually the first high grade, professional grade automotive spray gun I've ever ordered. I've actually got by oh, at this oh, truck uh, passed by. There's a truck weight station right across the street. And there's another one. All right. I've actually gotten by for like the past seven years, seven or eight years using the Develvis uh, starting line spray gun. That model has really served its purpose uh, and <laughs> generated some, some good money for me. So. Uh, I'm still going to keep that gun in my arsenal. It's going to actually be my sealer gun, um, but I'm excited for this. I actually ordered, this is the Iwata uh, LPH 400. A little bit of research and obviously people like Paint Society, The Gunman, uh, and a few other channels on YouTube have reviewed this gun and uh, it's pretty much the all-purpose gun is what they call it. I know a couple of Facebook groups that say the same thing. This is just a general all-purpose spray gun. So I wanted something that was just that, something that I could basically rely on for now and so I can, you know, obviously get more more revenue and stuff then I can invest in more. But straight out of the box, this thing feels amazing. Real yeah. lightweight. It came with, uh, this is the kit I ordered off Amazon. So this, it actually comes with the PPS 2.0 adapter. I also ordered the actual spray cup because I, I, I use that more. Just for the amount of work I'm doing at the shop, there's no need for me to be investing in liners. I did order the liners just because I want to have something in case I have to spray some parts or something that I got to get upside down. I'll have that option. Uh, but I'm going to use this with the, with the cup, with the aluminum cup. So overall, my first impression is the gun feels really good. It feels really smooth. I, I really like it. I mean, it's it looks really good, too. Uh, I ordered the 1.3 version with the orange cap. Man, I can't wait to put this through, the, through its uh, paces and see see what it does. The Vilvis gun has really been put through its fair share of work. Everything from sealer, base coat, pearl, clear coats. I've also sp sprayed some uh, industrial urethane through there um, as well as some industrial epoxy through there. So it, it's been put through its paces. So like I said, I'm gonna keep that in my arsenal. I cleaned it the other day. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it in rotation. I can't wait to try it out guys.